everyone, Sun Technikai here, bringing y'all back another video of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. In the last episode, we took on the Frenzy Lil again and managed to free her. And some other stuff in between, we also gained access to a new area, but not just yet though. Anyway, if you're all wondering why, I'm actually uh, whispering. See that big tree right there? You don't? Now, do you see? What the fudge is a Psyduck doing here? Get away from me, you freak. You've been a thorn on my side for so long. Okay, no, not really. He's not a freak, though he has a thorn on my side. I actually do kind of like him. Anyway, you see that big turtle? Oh my gosh. That big turtle right there is actually one of our team members. Psyduck, go away. So what I'm going to try to do is be very quiet. Who the heck is seeing me now? You son of a bunch. Anyway, since Torterra is not right there anymore, because we're in a fight, but if it were there, he will probably actually notice. So, we're gonna go ahead and take care of this Carnava that's been. that caught us in. Oh, heavens. That did a lot of damage. But, in the end, we were victorious. Okay, back to whispering. First off, gotta heal up my bonds. Okay, so the strategy is like any other, like any other. What the fudge keeps finding me? Oh, you cannot be serious. Here I am, just trying to capture an Alpha Torterra. And then what happens? First, a Carnival interrupts me. Well, first a Psyduck was being a thorn in my side. Then a Carnival interrupts me. And then a Gudra comes out of nowhere and interrupts... No. Still a... Whatever, Gudra's pre-evolution. Comes and interrupts me. Gosh forbid, this game does not want me to have nice things. Yeah, fuck you too. Okay, let's try this again. Just be sneaky. The best. Who? You kidding me? That's it. Come over here. Come over here right now. Hydro pump. You trouble. I'm so glad I have one of my own, but fudge this Pokemon. I only brought Rhyhorn because he was going to be a sacrifice. And no, he is not a water type, he's a uh, dragon. She is a dragon steel type. Since you, Missy, want to be a thorn in my side, you get the death penalty. There. Now think about what you did. Jeez. I just want to get that Torterra. That's all I want. Okay, back to whispering. I swear, if another one that comes out of nowhere that interrupts me, I'll fudge. Get behind something. Good. Thankfully, this counts as pausing. 
Okay, let's revive Rhyhorn with experience. Okay, so the strategy I want to do is send out Bidu. Yeah, that's right, Bidu. Boom! Tartaro was unaware. Oh, I just popped my leg. Okay, so I know that in today's games, that Stun Sword no longer works on grass types, but I want to see if it's going to be done here. Yep. So I just wasted that whole turn. What did he use? I've never seen that move before. Heck, if I have to, I'll catch him off screen. But oh wow, he's 65. I made a great mistake. That looks painful. Uh, I have no way to give it any status. Oh, wait, never mind, dude. So, Lord, that defense of it. I mean, that, that HP of it. Use baby doll eyes to lower the attack. Technically, both attack stats. What little baby? You monster Torterra. Go, Batwoman. Okay. Get him some little tire. I was just gonna. Oh, he lives another day. All stats return to normal. Great. Oh no! If he uses wood hammer. Okay, good. Sorry, Batwoman. But you're a great asset. Let's see now. Can I capture Torterra? Alpha Torterra. Yes, 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 yes! Finally! My number one starter of Gen 4, I have him. Or her. Whatever. Anyway, I'm actually out here for another reason besides getting Torterra. Because I knew he would be out here eventually. Because this whole... Probably for the next... Maybe the next few episodes... It's mostly going to be questing. Say, you there. Could you lend me a hand? I was on my way here from the Marlins camp... When the Alpha Hippaldon came after me. I got away but I dropped a charm I was carrying. And now I can't find it anywhere. I just got to have it back. If you find a charm lying in the swamp, would you bring it back to me? Okay, so we know where it is. It's somewhere near an alpha... Oh, heavens help me. Near an alpha... Hapaldon. First strategy is to sleep. Yep, I need my energy. Okay. So I know it's somewhere around here. But then most likely... Oh. Never mind, I can see it. Don't mind me! Ow.
That's a big hippo. Well, at the same time, it's actually a normal size have piled on. Well, but at least this could be... <clears throat> Poor Badoo. She's bare... She's barely holding her head. Oh, wow, I forgot to nickname her. I actually don't even have a nickname for her yet. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Sorry, Badoo. I need to train her a bit. That's what I need to do. What do we do up against a Pelon? We use a gibble. We use a good bite. Yeah, that's right. I'm not interested. And giving up on goodbye. I'm, he's gonna probably be that one Pokemon that will never leave the team throughout the whole game. Why? Well, I like the well, I like goodbye. It's one of my favorites. He's basically my second favorite Pokemon of the of the entire ser series. Mostly because of Garchomp, and I'm bound to bet my Discord friend will just be like. Santana guy in a nutshell, except he didn't mention Charizard. Oops. You sure are something to take it on a big angry Hippolyta like that. Wait, what's that lying over there? My, my charm. It's really you. Welcome back. Uh-oh. It means a lot to me that you went toe-to-toe -to -toe with that Hapaldon on my behalf. You better believe I won't be losing this charm again. Not after he went all went to all the trouble to get back to me. And we complete Request 40, the charm lost in the swamp. Got some iron chunks and some grid. And now, we get the fudge out here. <gasps> oh, I lived. I lived another day. Oh yeah, and I caught a... I caught a gold, a gold duck earlier for the Pokedex. Silgo's research is almost done. Who what I have left? Well if I could capture a Well if I could capture one more, I could easily complete her Pokedex entry. But I could choose to evolve mine. But I'm not going to because that would be stupid of me. Okay, headlong rush. That is a brand new move I've never seen it used before. Well, I can say this, Torterra at least helped me a bit. All right, we're about to get close to our next star. Let's return to the village. And so I can get a proper thumbnail part. Uh, don't know what I mean. Uh, let's just say some thumbnails got mixed up. And I no longer own the original picture to redo them. So I made a critical error on my behalf. So let's go ahead, head and get this thing out, get you out here. Have I not even caught a Psyduck yet? Oh, never mind. There. Stay there for the rest of your life. Still need the trash. And probably I'll need a three fee female evolutions. Yeah, basically, but do Burmy, I mean, has two different evolutions. You already seen one of them. Oh, that's right, put it in pasture eight. That being Mothum. This is actually Burmy's male evolution. If you have a female. It'll become something else, but I'm not going to reveal that. Let's move. Dang it. I need a thumbnail, dang it, woman. I need a thumbnail for part 18.
Oh. Oh my. Look at this big boy. Hey, you know what? Let's let Gip. Let's let Gibby have some fun with him. Okay, good enough. Man. Oh, that's cool. He, if you're actually staying on his side, he actually turns his head and his eyes a bit. And he's on the attack. Wow. An actual turnaround animation. They finally fixed that. If you have no clue what I mean, in Pokemon Sword and Shield, the way how that... Both the legendary dogs, the way how they turn around, looks god awful. Look on someone else's video because I'm not going to go for that whole progress. Unless I get around to playing, doing a let's play of Gen 8 or do a Nuzlocke. Help me, Lord, help me. Okay, then let's. One last thing I want to check is Torterra's. Please be good. And he's a plain nature, so thankfully nothing bad. You know what, folks? It's time. It's freaking time. That's why, actually, you know what? I replaced the old thumbnail with the evolutionary thumb... With these other th new thumbnail. First off, I'm going to get out my Thunderstone. Say goodbye to Eevee, everyone. Time for Jolteon. Congratulations, your speed evolved into Jolteon. Speaking a new move idea. And. Time for a bat woman to evolve into a gold bat. Sheesh, I went through so many episodes, so many delays of evolving both these mods, and now I finally do it. It should not have taken me this long to actually do that. And I can evolve her again. I'm not going to. I'm going to at least let her be around for a few episodes. Thank you, Torterra. Um, also, if anyone asks me about MP, do I have any more? More up? The answer is... Yes. I have now 1,819. Oh, gosh. Look at all these. Okay. This quest, I know what this one here is for. It is straight up for a certain cat. But I'm not going to talk to that quest until I capture that cat. Thanks again for lending me a hand from getting that full up in Neri last time, recruit. Everyone in the village sure loves it. I was hoping I might get your help on another little task, in fact. Would you mind looking at this? Okay, so it's an area we have not been to yet. I already know it's talking about Dust Skull. Rather eerie, wouldn't you say? That thing was so close, and yet I had no idea it was even there when the photo was being taken. From a shot like this, I can't even say what any certainty, whether it's a Pokemon or something else entirely. If you recognize that thing in the photo as some Pokemon that truly exists over there in the wild, I'd like to see it. I will surely love for your help on this. The Pokemon in the Nighttime Photo. Oh, hey, it's that girl again with the Geodude. Can't say I don't remember this area. That part, at least. 
There's a Pokemon you think would be the perfect inspiration for some new designs. Oh, goody. It's a species called Shellos, you see. I've heard it has different forms depending on whenever it lives with different coloring, too. If I could just comp compare its different forms, I'm certain I'll f be filled with inspiration. Could you show me Shellos' different forms? Only can be found in... Different forms can only be found in the Obsidian Field, Fieldlands. And the other out in the... Ah, okay, I see, I see. I thought you were saying that both forms were on the same map. I'm like... No, they're not. I have Even in my personal file, I don't see anything. So... So she's straight up talking about the... Blue-green shell loss and the... Brown-white shell loss. I mean, the pink... Pink-white shell loss. I already have one of them, I think. Hello, getting valued customer. You have arrived in the nick of time. I'm afraid Tell Hall is refusing to do business with me again. He won't listen to a word I say, so would you try to persuade him for me again? I'm sure you'll get somewhere if you get three three pot pop pots as a token of grad goodwill. Perhaps after this he'll eventually accept me. Okay, so mostly all these questing has so far been upgrading the village. What do you want, little girl? Hey, what's that Pokemon up there? What's his name? What what to do? Up there. Magikarp? Why is it called Magikarp? Is it a cool Pokemon? Is it strong? Can it fly? It's cool? Why is it cool? Which part is cool? Tell me, tell me. Tell me more, please, please. You're gonna go learn about Magikarp, right? Can you tell me, tell me when you're done with it? It's page in the Pokédex. All about Magikarp. Do I even have his Pokédex complete? The answer is no, I don't. So we can't come back to her for a while. Okay, let's see who else in this village. Okay, there's someone down there that needs our help. Oh, hey, that's a cool detail. They're actually making more houses. Jubilee Village will be eventually become Jubilee City, even though it barely looks much like a city in the games. Are you done yet? Nope. Nice to see you again, Mr. Mr. Severi Court. You got great timing as always. I gotta make the fields even bigger, see, but we don't have enough helpers to keep them watery. If you lend us one of your water type one of your Pokemon that knows a water type move, we'll be great mighty grateful. Oh. So he wants a water. Hey, you know what? I got a perfect mom for you. Put him to slavery. Work his rear off until he dies dead. Your Pokemon, your Pokemon should be a big help in expanding the fields. Might as well get started. Hey, your Pokemon's in an irritating such Whatever it is. Now I'll be all pumped up. Sit back, old Miller is gonna make the fields bigger than ever. And I'm done. Whoo! Hard work. That was all fine work, and any crop crafting plan will do great. It's all thanks to you too. We'll keep your Pokemon here here to help out with the field work a while longer. Just give all the hoot, 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 this, hoot, that, and there you go. And I look at how that man in the background still chomping, trying to chop down that tree. I'm curious what this is. Hmm. Well, since we upgraded the farm, we even still look at... Nope. 
Okay, to be honest, honest, I caught a Pokemon that I, th that I thought he was going to ask me before was a Pokemon that can break these rocks. Like these rocks here in the background. You will eventually need to find a Pokemon with Rock Smash. The perfect Pokemon for you to find is Mock Chop. Just capture yourself a Mock Chop and save it for later. That's the best thing you can do. Okay, another quest is back here. Okay, so it's in the house. But it could also really actually. Yep, that was right. Why? Why? But is it one of. Why, but this is one of the young, youngies from the survey courts. Good thing you dropped by. I need some help making friends with this Eevee. Think you could lend me a hand? Candlelock, my granddaughter, brought the little guy home with her, with her the other day, and I want us to be on good terms. Oh wow, sitting down like a dog. After thinking long and hard, I decided the best way to win Eevee over is the old-fashioned way. Through tasty treats. So I'll be whipping up a special snack from my hometown. Some of the ingredients for it doesn't grow here in Hasui, but I found a few local berries and things I'll make good enough su substitutes. Three stalks of hearty grains, two huckleberries, and one raspberry is what I need. I'm counting on you. Do I even have all that? Wow. All I'm needing is one more raspberry. I wasted all those raspberries for nothing. Once again, you can kind of get raspberries from the mini games. I'm going to see if like... Actually, let's check the store. The, um... Ginkgo store. Hopefully he's selling what I need. Sure, I'll bite the honey cakes. Ah, uh, I was really hoping to have you know, have raspberries. Oh well, I'll just have to. I'll just have to do that many. I'll just have. To, ugh, guess I'll just do that thing some other time. And no, I have not. Even gone around to do the Cherim quest. So let's at least on then proceed with the story a bit. Commend you on your successful research of the Pokemon living in the Crimson Marlins. Your next orders are to begin the survey of the cult S Castlands. I will let you know in advance there are no Pokemon nobles in the Cult Battle Coastlands. Allow me to explain. We did have a lord in the Castlands until a few years ago. I trapped a tragedy took him from us. Now, we have reports of people seeing strange shadowy figures on the island of the Lord. Lord used to call his home. We have also received word from both the survey courts and supply courts. It seems some of their members were attacked by a ghost while out gathering materials around Fire Spike Island. These are serious concerns, and moreover, my clan just can't tolerate this, this great, whatever words, of our late lord's seat. Oh, disgration. Normally, I'll entrust this to our own ward and the cast, castlands, but her situation is complicated. I trust my intentions are clear by now. Oh, uh, I trust my intentions are clear by now. I hereby order you to investigate these reports. The Lordless Island. 
I meet. I'll meet you in the. I mean, oh. I'll meet you in the Colback Coastland. I do love it there. It's a beautiful area. Oh, you know, I know this must be a bewindingly situation to be dropping on into. I'm sorry, Lieutenant Guy. Think nothing of it. Lieutenant Guy is a talented and hardworking member of the Galaxy Team. I'm sure he'll short things out. Indeed. Something the guy quelled the Lord of the Woods. I have seen both his strength and his kindness firsthand. The next area for you to investigate will be the Colback Coastlands. It is further a rift than the Crimson Marlins, much further, and the path is long and trying. With your current rank, you should be capable of braving the Colback Coastlands. You now you know your mission is to investigate the Fire Spite Island. And I'm sure this Fire Spite Island is straight up going to be what's going to be known known as the different areas in Brilliant Diamond Shine Pearl along with Anyway, I think that's gonna be it for today's episode. Next time on Pokemon Legends. Uh, CS. We'll be heading towards the new area and probably find out find some more new team members and questing and stuff. If you enjoyed today's video, please share, like, subscribe if you want to, but make sure to always wear your face mask, stay socially distanced, and get vaccinated the best you can. And I'll see you all for another episode. Peace. Actually, hold it. I'm going to stop myself real quick. So, you know how almost in every episode, I always keep saying that, get, make sure to always wear your face mask, get, get vaccinated the best you can, and stay socially distanced. I'm actually going to start calming down. And before anyone asks, no, I'm not getting threatened yet. And even if I, they were going to threaten me, I'll threaten them back by saying, would you like to go to jail for the rest of your life? Or skip part of, or straight up skip a bit of your life because you waste your life waste a good few years on me for no reason all because I kept saying these words over and over well for now on I'm gonna just calm down with that a bit I'll probably say it maybe every now and then but eventually I will be bringing that for every episode depending how COVID situation gets I haven't heard much about it so I think it's kind of fine for me to just not say it every episode. Episode. So for now, I'm going to be calm with it. Though do expect me to keep on saying it in the custom robo videos. Heck, those were made in advance. I still kept saying it. Anyway, that's going to be it for today this time. So I'll see you all next episode.